What's up guys and welcome back to the channel, Justin here and as promised in today's video we're going to take a generally known freshwater fish and acclimate it to the saltwater reef tank. Now these fish are you know used a lot uh, but kind of unheard of. Uh, it's kind of one of these things that when you see them in a saltwater tank you're like what the heck because generally they're in a freshwater tank and that is the molly. So mollies are great little bitty fish that can help clean up algae and biofilms off of your your reef tank. Really you can you can buy them already pre-acclimated to salt water which I have. I actually have three of them in here and just kind of love the way they bounce around the tank and peck at algae. Being that my local fish store, local saltwater fish store, they didn't have any big ones. They had a bunch of little ones and Pre-acclimated, they're a lot more expensive because they had to go through the process of acclimating them to salt water. So we're about to head to the store and pick them up and I'll show you all the process of acclimating these freshwater fish because that's where they're coming from is a freshwater fish store into my saltwater reef tank. So let's go. going through a bunch of my old freshwater stuff and I put out this old filter. All right guys, so we're ready to start the siphon on the tank. I gotta, I usually just tie a knot in the, uh, the line to control my flow. You can buy little valves and all that, but I don't have one. So we're gonna try the whole knot tying thing. See how fast the drip rate is there on that clear tubing. So I've already got the fish acclimating and we have a problem. Uh, well, kind of a problem. It's gonna be an experiment and I hope you understand the mistake in this. Uh, and it's a 50-50 chance, I'd say, on if three of these fish will live or not. So when I was at the big box store, you know, they have all the labels that are stacked on top of each other because they have so many fish in one certain in one tank. They'll have like seven varieties of fish in one tank. And so I'm telling the lady, uh, I want I want I said I want all mollies. Uh, these mollies, those, those, three of each. I said okay. Now looking at my receipt because I'm trying to remember what the names of these fish were. I got some sunset red mollies, so those are good. Some black velvet mollies, those are good. Uh, golden panda mollies, and a Dalmatian lair, lair, lair tail, just Dalmatian mollies. So that's four mollies. I got three of each variety. That was going to be kind of my test, was to uh, make sure and get you know just three of each and see where it goes. The problem is that's that accounts for the tw 12 of the fish that are in here and there's three more. And I looked at the thing and it just said panda and the rest of it was covered up. And they're platies. So they're panda platies as of the receipt. Uh, those are the black, it'll be white in the front and black on the tail. And uh, yeah. So I've been researching here on my phone on certain forums and some people say that uh, platies can live in salt water. Uh, some people say they won't. They won't. So this was an honest mistake. I, I didn't mean to get platies, but platies and mollies are, you know, they look the same pretty much with when it comes to like size and uh, like just body shape and composition. So I... Uh, Honestly, you know, got three of the wrong fish. I've been looking on forums and stuff, and some people say they'll convert if you do it slowly enough. So we're gonna slow down this whole operation for those three, but we're still gonna go forth with it. Uh, 
I could put them in my freshwater tank. If I start to see them doing bad, I'll put them in my freshwater tank, those three. So it's gonna be a cool little experiment here. And uh, yeah, just kind of an honest mishap in the midst of it. So we're still good. We're still on the scheduled program. We just have three fish that uh, were kind of a mystery. I thought they were panda mollies, but they're panda platies. All right, so I've been checking salinity. It's only been about three hours or two hours. Uh, I just made this little tick mark about, I don't know, uh, I guess 40 minutes ago, because you can see on my phone. I set a timer for an hour to where I could see how high or how much it goes up in an hour. So it's a really, really slow process. And I added a little, uh, added a little rock out of the reef tank in here with some algae on it and you can see that one right now is going to town on it the salinity is at like 0 0.007 or so it's got to go all the way up to i think I, my tank's usually around 0 0.025 so it's still got to go up a lot All right, so we are about 26 hours into the acclimation process and here are my findings. So every few hours I come in here and I change out a little bit of the water uh, because I'm trying to increase the salinity. So at first, like y'all know, we started out with a 25, 25% fresh water, uh, I guess you'd say total. Then I added in well, not 25% because I can only get the water up to here. So anyways, over time by just siphoning salt water into it and then it's mixing with that with the original fresh water, you're, every time you I scoop out with this little bucket here and go pour it out and then I siphon in more 100% salt water or, or my tank water, my reef tank water, and uh, over time, you're just creeping that salinity up and up. So now we're into it pretty far, and I don't know if you can see some of the fish back here, but uh, it's not going great. I've already lost. Right now, I have one or two that I don't think are going to take the full, uh, the full salinity of the tank up there, and I've already lost four or five fish I need to get a count so I'm basically down from 15 to I know I, I'm, I'm gonna have about eight fish that are gonna make it to the tank uh, it, it just it's a hard it's a hard experiment I mean I know these are uh, supposed to be saltwater fish well mollies are I will say you know I did I ran the experiment on the platies and I mean, no. Platties and salt water, no. They looked bad. So I threw them in my freshwater tank and we'll see how they do. Uh, I just did that. I don't think it's, I don't think it's gonna work, so. Here's a few of them. Uh, there's a big old Dalmatian one. Those are the biggest ones I bought. They seem to be really lethargic, but they seem to be doing, I'm three for three on them and I am three for three on the gold and black. This little chubby black one is doing really good. Uh, that Dalmatian one right there is doing really good. Those two in the back are doing pretty good. So that's four. Uh, the rest of them kind of just sunk into the rock works and we'll, I guess we'll see if they make it. I hope they do. It's really hard to find them in this big of a tank and I got a lot of rock work. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Time will tell. I turned the power heads off because I don't, like I want to let them get acclimated to the temperature and the salt water and then we'll work the flow back up. All right, well there is two of the golds and here's the other. So we're three for three on them. Uh, there's some Dalmatians in here. They're just 
hadn't shown themselves. This guy, he's moving around a lot. So that, that one's doing doing real well. This one is showing really good signs of acclimation to the house and everything that I own and all my personal space. But he's a good boy. Aren't you, Finn? Finn. He likes the fish tank. See? What are you doing? You like it? What are those? What is it? This is my new, uh, so the clownfish were trying to host this alveopora and between that and flatworms, uh, it was absolutely pissed off. And so I built this little cage out of some, I don't even know what this stuff is. I think you put this over your gutters to keep leaves out. It's just plastic. Uh, there's no metal or wire in it or anything. It's just a plastic. Uh, yeah, so I just built that little thing cage no Finn he tries to drink water out of the sump and uh, I'm sure it's very salty <clears throat> but yeah I have the power heads off I'm about to turn one of them back on I went no power heads for about I don't know 30 minutes 45 minutes uh, and you can actually see the tanks are like really enjoying the fresh algae that they never get to pick off of the power head Doing pretty good. They look to be happy. They don't look stressed at all. Now, yeah, there's one over there in that very top corner that's not doing so hot. He's flickering and just not doing the best. But that big Dalmatian's doing good. The other two are down hiding in the rock work somewhere. I can't seem to find them. Molly's are great fish for cleaning algae, but they're not gonna touch the really long stringy hair algae. So what I did was I spent about two hours, I went in and I manually removed as much as I could of the long pieces and then they'll go back in and nip at the roots of the hair algae, you know, where it's attached to the rock. Because you're not gonna get everything, but then the mollies can come in and do work. If you ever consider buying a Kenya tree coral, you're gonna have to pick it off of the rocks everywhere. It spreads just like a weed and it's it looks cool, but it spreads like wildfire in your tank. Also, here's a time lapse of me feeding my scoli. This is about eh, a 30 minute video squeezed down into five seconds. Here's a few shots of all the fish. You can see the mollies are doing well. Well, some of them did well. Here's a few shots of some of the new coral that I've added. I really wanna wait a few days before I give y'all a final answer on how the mollies did. Right now it's not looking so hot, but make sure and come back in part two and you know give that video a view. We're gonna do a lot of things in that video. I'll have some new corals and stuff like that, but this is the end of part one, guys. Thanks for watching.